All right, guys. So now we're going to jump into Brownsville Station, the Martian Boogie. Uh, I, I understand, Belzar. <laughs> All right, so let's jump into the Martian Boogie. Here we go, guys. Let's get ready to go to space. are going to space. Dude, dude, real quick, what was up with that switch up? Dude, did not expect it to go to this genre. This is crazy. All of a sudden, we're in the, we're in a saloon. We're in a saloon playing cards. <laughs> dude, okay, let's just go back just a little bit, get back into it. Here we go. Getting kind of hungry. I decided to give me something to eat. Now, I passed up all the chain franchise joints on Hamburger Row and stopped at a little greasy spoon place I always eat at called Eat. Sit and go. Get you one of those greasy hamburgers all peppered up, lay you up in the hospital for 10 days. So I ordered me up a couple of them grease bombs. Waitress brought them over, lifted up the bun, checked them out. Damn, no kitchen. So I nudged the guy sitting next to me at the counter. I said, hey, Paul, now how about passing the ketchup over? Suddenly, this little bitty green hand holding a ketchup bottle came into view. And I freaked. Because the guy sitting next to me was a Martian. <laughs> Twenty-eight years of eating hamburgers, I ain't never run into no Martian. At a two thirty in the morning, and certainly not at a fine scarfing establishment like Eat. Dude, when was the song made? Holy, oh, holy crap! This is so fun, and it's so ridiculous. Like, I love this so much. It's like not taking itself seriously, but it's like good at the same time. It's really, really good, even though it's about. Meeting an owl. This might even be true. This might even be true. I hope it is. I hope this actually happened. All right. Let's get back into it. At a 2.30 in the morning, and certainly not at a fine scarfing establishment like Eat. Well, he was sitting over there with a bunch of colored sticks on his plate, and I looked over at him, and I said, What you eating there, boy? Crayons? And he said, Why, no, they're Martian cigarettes. Here, try one. Well, about half hour later, he looked over at me and smiled. Them old Martians ain't got but two teeth in their head. And he said, How do you feel? And I said, Don't move. 
I come out all the places you could have landed, you ended up here. He said, Well, according to my lunar space map, this town here is supposed to be the boogie capital of the USA! Now, where else you been, boy? And he told me. Said I rocked them over and I rocked them down. Rocked them in the country, I rocked them in the town. Rocked them from Naples on. Go to Maine. Well, poor my lady, and she asked my name. Told him the name was on till of my shirt. I said, Rocky Chair Marshall don't have to work. Yeah, man! So good! How delightfully odd, like, like, oh, wow, that was awesome. That was awesome. Holy crap. <laughs> and I didn't know anything like that existed. That was such a cool, like, crossover of genres. And it was actually, like, really good, really cool to listen to. I love it. Quirky. <laughs> uh, yo, so next up, I think we are going to do one of the uh, paid requests. Uh, thank you so much, Mark. Appreciate you. That was Brownsville. Brownsville Station. The Martian Boogie. And thank you to every single one of the Patreon members. Really couldn't do this without each and every single one of you. So go on over to patreon.com slash John Slop for early access to these videos and to submit your own requests. All right, I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.